Welcome back to part three of my multi-show series on the subject of some interesting things about Jay-Z. I'm your host, Robert Lee Taylor. Going back to what I was saying in the previous segment, part two, I'm the executive producer, CEO. CEO Robert Lee Taylor. Now, you got people on the internet and around the way who fake the game. They just fake, and they talk about game and this, this, and that. After Sir Mix-a-Lot in Seattle, who was there that emerged that really moved a substantial amount of albums? I'm not talking about Kid Sensation. Kid Sensation had cuts. He was with Sir Mix-a-Lot. I'm talking about after the whole nasty mix camp, name one other rap group, one other artist that came in the wake of Sir Mix-a-Lot that moved a substantial, significant, considerable amount of albums. Eunice, I'm from Washington State originally. I'm going to tell you this. If you talk to these kids, man, I call them kids, I don't care how old they are, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, you know what I'm saying, if they come from where I come from, and I say kid, they know what I'm talking about, and I think you know what I'm talking about too. These kids will tell you that they're moving units. They got the little CDs at Sam Goody and Warehouse and Tower Records on consignment. I don't do consignment. I'm a big boss baller. You feel me? From the West Coast, north of Seattle. I'm not even from Seattle. I'm from the EVT, a.k.a. Everett, Washington. We got our own customs, our own styles, our own trends, our own history, our own roots, and it ain't got a damn thing to do with the city of Seattle. Seattle's one city out of 300 cities. That's like saying, because you're from California, you're from L.A., when obviously you're from San Francisco or San Diego or San Jose or Sacramento, Sac You know what I'm saying? Seattle, Washington isn't everything in fucking Washington State. Homie, I'm from motherfucking the EVT. You feel me? So look, the point is, I went on to college, the university. I became a government contractor. I don't just do rap. I do things for governments. You know what I'm saying? IT, security, professional work, things, secret shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what men do in this world. We do secret shit. You know what I'm saying? Defense, security, intelligence. And I work with a lot of people. I'm going to tell you this as well. Young Chili is a cat from the West Coast who comes from my neighborhood and who had moved on to do things in Seattle and Bremerton, another city in Washington, and Tacoma. And during his young adolescent life, he got locked up. He went to prison. Chili knew about me. His whole gang knew about me. Because I'm a blood originally from the West Coast. My neighborhood, part of it, is a blood set. Okay, I come from a blood faction, a long line, a long bloodline, a long lineage of bloods. We got a lot of bloods in our neighborhood. We got a lot of crips. I'm from the West Coast, and that's just how it is. So look, I'm, a, I'm originally a blood. I don't gang bang. I'm an inactive gang member. Why would I be gang banging? I work for the government. You know what I'm saying? I worked for the government in Washington, D.C. Relative, not too long ago. Okay? And so, but look, I own companies, multiple companies. That's the nature of man. That's what we men do. Alright, so I own this record company, and when I was still in my early 20s, Young Chili, a.k.a. YC1, he came to me. Now, now Chili's a crip. He's from a crip set, but I ain't never had any beef with Chili. I was always cool with Chili. Chili's real name is Tuan Bly, okay, for the official record. And as far as I'm concerned to this day, Chili's the homie. So he hears about my record company. He knew about it. He knew that I was in the rap game. He knew that I was doing things before he even got locked up. You know what I'm saying? So he gets locked up, and then he's hearing about my progress and the things that I'm doing. And Chili's got a lot of cousins, he's got a lot of family up and down the West Coast. And they know me, they know about me because I put them on to the AON and Records label, and I signed them. A lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Chili's uh, family and my family, so to speak, we connected, we linked up, and we formed an even larger truce alliance organization. So Chili came to me with his cousins, and he wanted to get put on. In fact, he told people that he was looking for me so that I could sign him to the record company AONN. And yes, Chili is one of the investors in AONN Records, bar none. Obviously, absolutely, hands down. This man spent a lot of time working with me, investing money, but I also have investments from other individuals. I have investments from the Jewish community. That's right. AON and Records works with, the, with our friends from Israel. Don't get shit twisted. I got a brother in Chicago. He's a vice lord. I got, you know what I'm saying, down with the homies in the shy from Chicago. And they know. They saw the symbol, the six-pointed star. And I told them, look, man, I'm not a gangster disciple. They know that I'm a blood from the West Coast. I have friends who are gangster disciples. I have friends and relatives who are conservative vice lords, mafia vice lords. 
I don't fucking gangbang. I'm a grown man and I own multiple businesses. So back to this business about Young Chili when he came to me. And by the way, when you do the research on AON and records on the internet, man, you can't believe everything you hear from these fucking wannabe journalists with no journalistic integrity. They don't know about us. They don't know what we do. They don't know about our government contracts. They have no fucking clue. They're clueless, oblivious to these facts. They have no fucking concept thereof in space-time as to what we do. We're grown men who live in this world in defense of our country, hey look, some of my friends are liberals, some of my friends are Republicans. The point is, a lot of us put together AON and records, a lot of us made it happen, we got a lot of investors, and I signed over 100 people to my record company. Young Chili, he put out an album on my label, which was his label, at the time, he's signed, to this day, he's still signed to AON and records, but I'm not going to speak about Chili's business privately what he does in his private life because, you know, he got a family, you know what I'm saying? But in terms of the business that he did with me and his ongoing business with me, he appears on the album Operation Northwest Nationwide that my company put out. I put out that album. I did the artwork along with other artists for that particular project. I'm the CEO. And look, man, they come to me because I'm a heavyweight when it comes to moving these units. You talk to these kids, man, that claim that they're moving units. What, they sold like 100 CDs? Did they sell 2,000 CDs? I moved 30,000 CDs in one day with one of, one of America's top companies. I'm talking about Kenwood Audio. The kids that like to have little stereo systems in the car and shit, spend the tens of thousands of dollars for a little souped up customized vehicle. Look, man, Kenwood fucking Audio. You know the name? It's a powerhouse of a company. I did business with them. I did business with McAfee. And these companies contacted me, mind you. I didn't contact them. I didn't call them and ask them for business. They contacted me and they said, Robert Taylor, we heard about AON and Records. We want to license some of this hot, hit, blazing, fucking fire music that you got. And I'm like, I bet. So I did deals with major U.S. companies. All right? And... I was contacted by America's number one computer security company as part of a major licensing deal with McAfee Software. All right? And furthermore, I've been sponsored by both Miller Genuine Draft and Imperial Vodka. Specifically, I've brokered several major business deals, including the movement of 30,000 fucking CDs in one day via Kenwood USA, Kenwood Audio. I'm the executive producer, man, of over 100 artists. So Chili comes to me, and he's like, man, I want to be on this album. I'm like, well, you just missed the November 12 project, but I could put you on, I guess, a single, the release. So then, his next album, before Land of the Strange, was Operation Northwest Nationwide. He's got a song on that album called, now, are you ready for this? If you're, if you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about, about this Jay-Z information, you need to peep the Chili track from the year. Okay, you ready for this? Operation Northwest Nationwide 2001 AON and Records by Young Chili. Spelled like the country. C-H-I-L-E. A-K-A Y-C-1. You ready? Track number five. Dandruff on my shoulder. That's the title of Chili's track. And when Chili put out that track, we knew, everyone on the West Coast knew, that was an homage to the legendary RBL, Ruthless by Law Posse. Dandruff on my... He says... Dandruff on my shoulder, little Noopy get a brush. He's talking about his cousin Aaron Ross, little Noopy. Little Noopy's a blood from the Bay Area, even though his cousin Chili's a crip. I'm saying I'm a blood. Chili's cousin, little Noopy, is a blood. I got down with little Noopy. He came in, we put him on too. He signed the AON and Records too. And on the song, now look, little Noopy appears, and then Chili's like talking about, you know, Dandruff on my shoulder, get a brush. That song was a hit on mp3.com. And it was five to six positions above Jay-Z for like six weeks. Now, if you think that I'm not being honest and that I'm being untruthful and that I'm lying, I want for you to email mp3.com. And I'm going to tell you, AON and Records since 1996 has been on and at mp3.com. In fact, they've paid us because we've topped the charts. We were in the top five in the United States of America. That's the beauty of technology. It levels the playing field. So yes, we were on the charts with Jay-Z. And I thought to myself at the time, man, it's my first couple of years of college. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay-Z had the whole Rick Rubin thing going on when they were in college. You know what I'm talking about? Well, here, I'm in college. And it's like a mirror image on the West Coast. Because now I'm on the charts. And I'm, I'm on the charts. Oh my God, I'm ahead of Jay-Z by five, six positions. And it was weeks. We were ahead of Jay-Z for weeks on the chart. He's got to know about that. You know that he knew about that. Because why wouldn't he? 